welcome everybody to this joyful occasion on this beautiful spring night as we celebrate Ava and all of her study and as she comes to the Torah for the first time as a bat mitzvah. If you would make sure to silence your phones and we'll all be present together for the next moments. Ava has spent her childhood learning about both sides of her family, the two faiths that are in her family, um, Judaism and Catholicism, and how much they share. And this is a chance for Ava to celebrate this very important part of her Jewish heritage of reading from the ancient Torah scroll and sharing with you her thoughts on what it means and what's important to her today. She's learned to read Hebrew, she's learned the Jewish prayers, and she's learned to read the special Hebrew fonts from the scroll, which is no easy feat. You're gonna hear some Hebrew and hear the Jewish prayers in the moments to come. Thanks to Todd, we'll have all this beautiful melody so you can hum along, you can sing along, you can read the English, and we hope you sense that this is a whole ceremony about love and joy and really celebrating that Ava has reached this milestone in her life. We begin with a prayer called Hine Mato, which means how good it is when we come together in peace. So an important part of becoming bat mitzvah is that it's the first time you wear the prayer shawl called the talit or a talis and you can see that they come in different um, colors and sizes but they all have 613 knots tied in a very specific way to represent the number of commandments or good deeds to do in life. And so Ava's parents will come and drink Pratalis on her for her first time, and Ava will say the blessing. We rise for a special prayer, prayer called the Barku. The word the word Baruch or Barku means bless. So you'll hear the word Baruch a lot of times in the service because Baruch means blessed are you. Ava will chant the first line and then we'll sing it. Bye, bye, bye. 
special service because um, it is Saturday going into the evening Shabbat or the Sabbath day is just leaving and so you'll see a very beautiful spiritual service right at the end which takes us into the start of the week um, and but now we're moving into the Torah service which is the most exciting part of the service where you'll hear Ava read from the ancient scroll so Ava come and join me up here the world is sustained by three things, by the Torah, by worship, and by loving deeds. We sing a special prayer when we hold the Torah. You got it? Uh, I think so. You got it? She does? Yeah, I think so. Okay. That will help you. Okay. Let's do our special Shema. Shema Yisrael, Adonai Eloheinu, Adonai Echad, Echad Eloheinu, Gadol Adoneinu, Kadosh Shemo. Ava's walking around with the Torah. Feel free to reach out to it with your booklet or your hands and kiss it. You can whisper to her mazel tov. Al shlosha devarim, al shlosha devarim, al shlosha shlosha devarim, al lam al lam omed. Al shlosha devarim, al shlosha devarim, al shlosha shlosha devarim, al lam al lam omed. Al Atora, the Al Avoda, the Al Gimilu Hasadi. Al Atora, the Al Avoda, the Al Gimilu Hasadi. Al Atora, the Al Avoda, the Al Gimilu Hasadi. Al Atora, the Al Avoda, the Al Gimilu Hasadi. We now call Ava up as a bat mitzvah. We are reading from the book of Leviticus. You can follow along in the English. Your blessing. <laughs> Asher Bahar Banu Mikol Ha'amin Benan Tananu Etzirato Baruch Ata Adonai Noten HaTorah Daber Adonai El Moshech Bahar Sinai Lemor. Daber El Bene Yisrael Ba'amarta Alehem Ki Tabu El Haaretz Asher Ani Noten Lehem. Bishafta Haaretz Shabbat Ladonai. She Shanim Tizra Sadecha Vishay Shanim Tizmor Karmecha 
ba asafta et tavuata uvashana hashbi e shabbat shabbaton ye ye la aret shabbat ladonai sadecha lo tizra baharnecha lo tizmor. Yes. Barugata Adonai Elohim Ha'ulam Asher Natanan in Torah and me Ha'yayayayogam Natak with his name Barugata Adonai Nilten Ha'torah Amen we now sing the prayer of gratitude called the Shachianu. It's a very long, hard to say Hebrew word, but the middle of the word is the word chai, lechayim. It's a prayer celebrating what you've just done. Baruch atah Adonai Eloheinu melech ha'olam Shehepianu v'kimanu v'higianu l'azman hazeh Baruch Ata Adonai Eloheinu Melech HaOlam Shehechianu v'kimanu v'higianu L'azman hazeh to witness me coming to the Torah and reading from the Torah as a bat mitzvah. For the past year and a half, I've worked hard to learn Hebrew and recite my prayers. To me, becoming a bat mitzvah means you're committing to and being accepted into religion. You're being adopted by Judaism and agreeing to live that way of life. Then you will not only follow the rules, but incorporate them into your lifestyle. Now by becoming a bat mitzvah, I can read from the Torah confidently and take on certain commandments like trying to fast for Yom Kippur, keeping Passover, and honoring my parents. My parents, my parents play a very important role in my life. They inspire me to put forth the best me and to be myself. They have helped me shape into the person who is standing here talking to you today. An honor I receive on this day is getting to read from the Torah. My Torah's portion is called the heart. It's about God instructing Moses to tell people about the Sabbath, and like the Sabbath we have every seventh year, God instructed Moses that there will be also a Sabbath every seventh year when sowing fields. Moses must explain that fields must be sowed for six years, and the seventh year of the land will completely rest. After seven periods of seven years, there will be a jubilee in the fiftieth year and a celebration. God tells Moses to instruct the Israelites to not break the Sabbath. God promises blessings to the children of Israel when they grow, when they follow the laws and warn and warns of the curse if they do not. Discussions then take place about gifts. The Sabbath is important to me because I feel it is important that we take time out of our busy schedules to all come together as families and spend time with each other. We all need this time in our lives to relax and unwind with our loved ones. As God instructs, it's not just people that need to relax, everything needs time to rest. Another aspect of taking on this new status of being a bat mitzvah within Judaism is for me to perform my commandments. The charities that are near and dear to my heart are feeding my starving children and helping the homeless. For my service project, I've decided to do something where I'm helping people near and far. I volunteered to Feed My Starving Children, which is a charity I found after my school. We had a presentation on it and what it does for families around the world. I also recently learned about Africa and social studies and how many people, and specifically children, are starving and struggling to survive. 
When I learned about their situation, I immediately knew it was something I wanted to get involved in. The fact that you could go in for even just one day and pack meals with people and help change their lives is awesome. The kids that are helped by this program have their lives transformed. The other charity that I've chosen is Inspiration Corporation, where I will be volunteering to serve meals to the homeless. I want to do this because I feel bad for people that do not have a permanent place to go home and have meals every day. There are so many homeless people in Chicago that you regularly see on the sidewalks. This charity appealed to me because I get to see who I'm helping and actually interact with them and hopefully connect with them. The fact that I can make their day better by providing a meal in a dignified restaurant setting makes me happy and also grateful for what I have. When I volunteer, it helps me appreciate the life I have and everything my parents do for me. My experience at Feed My Starving Children was empowering. We spent our time packing meals for kids around the world. They had music playing and created a fun environment. After you were done packing, you were given statistics on how many boxes you packed and how many families you were going to feed. Feed My Starving Children definitely made an impact on me, along with the positive impact they made on those who serve, they serve. Some background on my journey that led me to this moment. Before I moved to Glenview and when I was living in Chicago, my parents made a choice to join a group called The Family School. It's a religious education group run by and taught by families that share both Catholic and Jewish faiths. We go to class Sunday mornings and the parents take time to teach us about both religions. So since fourth grade, my family has been a part of this group. This really helps me figure out who I see, how I see myself religiously, which is interfaith. I know some people right now might be thinking she can't do that, it's not possible, but it is and my standing here right now is proof. It is not just me who believes this, and, this, and there is an entire community of people that believe that they can teach their children both. And the children that embrace identifying, identifying as Jewish and Catholic. The way I see myself is that I incorporate both religions, Catholicism, and Judaism into my life. I look forward to continuing on a religious path of shared religion. I would like to thank Rabbi Ari for helping me prepare for this big day and helping me accomplish it. I would also like to give my a thank you to my tutor, Andrea, who sadly couldn't be here today. A big thank you for working with me every week. The time and effort she has put into helping me with this was amazing. Thank you to everyone who was able to join me tonight. And last but not least, thank you so much, Mom, for putting everything together. Mm -hmm. I would not be standing up here if it wasn't for all your hard work. You did an amazing job for someone who started out knowing very little about bat mitzvahs, let alone throwing one. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry for all those times I was mean when you were just trying to help. Thank you for making my bat mitzvah awesome. I love you. <laughs> Hey, Ava, you've done an amazing job. You've led this service with such dignity and poise, and now you're going to be blessed a lot of times. So I get to be the first to bless you. This is the oldest prayer of the Bible. This was Aaron's prayer. This is a prayer of unity and of peace. May God bless you and keep you. May God's light shine on you and be good to you. May you always feel like God is with you and always, always know peace. Amen. Your parents are going to bless you now. Ava, you did it. After all your hard work and countless hours of study, you are here, and I'm so proud of you. I know it wasn't easy. Now I was worried about him crying. <laughs> <laughs> now I'm, I know. <clears throat> I know it wasn't easy, but you did a beautiful job reading from the Torah and chanting your prayers. You also proved you can be both Catholic and Jewish. I hope you can take what you learned from this journey and apply it to your future. You were determined from the start, and as always, when you, when you want to get something done, you do. As you graduate and head to high school, that determination will help lead you to your goals. To quote Rabbi Eisenberg Sasso, what I wish for you, I wish for all our children. I wish for you to be a person of character, strong but not tough, gentle but not weak. I wish for you to be righteous but not self-righteous, honest but not unforgiving. Whenever you, Wherever you journey, may your steps be firm and may you walk in just paths and not be afraid. Whenever you speak, may your words be 
May your words be words of wisdom and friendship. May your hands build and your heart preserve what is good and beautiful in our world. May the voices of the generations of our people move through you, and may the God <coughs> sorry, of our ancestors be your God as well. Again, I was worried about him. <laughs> <laughs> Um, may you know that there is a people, a rich heritage to which you belong, and from that sacred place you are connected to all who dwell on the earth. May the stories of our people be upon your heart and the grace of the Torah. Rhythm, dance in your soul. I love you. <laughs> Ava, we've all just bared witness to you becoming a bat mitzvah. Your Torah reading and the lessons you took from it regarding Moses as a teacher of the concept of the Sabbath have wonderful parallels to this occasion. We all learn from you that we can make our own decisions regarding faith and its application to our daily lives. By tradition, you've become an adult in the eyes of Judaism. By your actions, you've become an adult in the eyes of all those who know you and love you and all those that know that you alone made the choice to complete this ritual, ritual, and along with it, dedicated yourself to completing all of the work that it entailed. My wish for you today is for you to continue to be so many things you already are, among them caring and determined and dependable, that you continue to develop your strong character and your sense of what is just. It's that that feeds your compassion, love, and caring of your siblings and all of your friends. Truly the blessing I would most bestow on you is to continue to know who you are and to follow your moral compass. Happiness and fulfillment over the course of your life will flow from this knowledge. Ava, there are so many people who love and support you, but there's none who do more than me. Now, no, there aren't words to express how proud I am of you today. I love you with all that I am. Ava, it's our honor, the honor of your guests here today, to be with you. You are a young woman with so much respect and kindness. It has been your, the inspiration. This has been because you wanted to do this. And that's such a beautiful thing. You've taught us about the Sabbath. You've taught us about your causes. And you've taught us about how you can have this deep faith. Whenever the Torah is out, we say one extra prayer, which is a prayer for those who are in need of healing. So we will say a special prayer and think about the people in your lives, in your hearts, who are in need of healing of body or spirit. <laughs> Ecclesiastes 
for everything there is a season and a time for every matter under heaven. A time to be born and a time to die. A time to plant and a time to pluck up what is planted. A time to break down and a time to build up. A time to weep and a time to laugh. A time to mourn and a time to dance. A time to throw away stones and a time to gather stones together. A time to embrace and a time to refrain from embracing. A time to seek and a time to lose. A time to keep and a time to throw away. A time to tear and a time to sow. A time to keep silence and a time to speak. And a time, time to love. <laughs> We are going to conclude with um, the last couple of prayers and then move into a neat ceremony called Tabdala, which we'll tell you a little about as we go into it. But first, the Aleinu, please rise. Aleinu l'shabeach l'adon hakol, l'atet pidula liotze breshit, shelo asanu kigoye haratzot, velo samanu kamish pechot adama. Shelo sam chelkinu kahem, vigo ralinu kecho hamonam, vanachnu korim, umishtahabim umodim, livne melech malche hamlachim, hakados baruchu, vene emar, vehaya adonai le melech o koharet. Bayom hahu, bayom hahu, ye Adonai echad. Ushemo, ushemo, ushemo echad. We love you, remember Andrea Harris. John and Vincent Contreras, Juan and Felipe Tuff, Ramirez, Jerry and Gussie Harris, and Jacqueline, and Jack, Jack and Carolyn Harris. We remember all the loved ones we lost. Yit Gadal, Yit Kadash, Shemei Rabbah, Biyam Ma, Divarach, Yirte, Biyam Lich, Malchute, Bachai Echon, Biyom Echon, Biyay Dechol Beit Yisrael, Bagala, Ubizman Kari, Vimru, Amen. Yehe Shemei Raba, Mivarach Le'olam, Almei Almaya, Yit Barach, Vish Shabbat, Vit Pa'ar, Vit Ramam, Vit Nase, Vit Adar, Vit Alev, Vit Alal, Shemei Dekudusha Brichu, Le'ela, Mikol, Birchata, Veshirata, Tushbechata, Venechemata, Da'amiran, Ve'alma, Ve'imru, Amin. Osei Shalom, Ve'amma, Huya Asei Shalom, Aleinu, Ve'alko Yisrael, Ve'imru, Amin. You can be seated. So, Havdalah, Havdalah means separation. And we are separating Shabbat, the Sabbath, from the week ahead. And this is a time of Ava's life where it's really a transition into high school, into um, teenagehood. And so, it's important to sometimes mark these times in our life where really there is big change. And Havdalah is a sweet ceremony that involves all different senses. So we light a special candle with three wicks, and it represents so many things, but mostly how you are all important to Ava's life and in her family's life, and we're all interwoven as we celebrate today. We will smell sweet spices, and we'll pass them around. You can just smell them and then pass them to your neighbor. And of course, sweet wine, a symbol of creation and the beauty of what's being created tonight. There's lots of yalla lies, so please join us if you will. Yeah, lie, la 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 Adonai Elohim, Melech 